but what's going on. So finally got a chance. I mean, because everything that comes out musically, I don't always break my neck. But the whole controversy with Little Nas X, Old Town Road, um, and the reality of uh, black artists doing country music and how it still scares some in white America. Some people don't have the history. Some in black America don't know that <clears throat> country music is part of our culture, which it is. It's an offshoot of R&B, blues. You, know, you listen to, you take the electric guitar and the kick drum out. That's what it is. And so uh, they brought Billy Ray Cyrus because you got to have the white cop. You know, like Eddie Murphy went to with Judge Reinhold, no disrespect, but, you know, you got to have the white cop to sell the brand, the buddy, buddy. You know, Lil Nas X already had to cut. Old Town Road was already established. But there was a rebellion uh, from some racists at country radio from playing it because they just not comfortable with the black artists on country radio. And they don't know the history about Ray Charles. Uh, not knowing the history about Charlie Pride, uh, not knowing about Lionel Richie, who was very much country, and he wrote Lady for Kenny Rogers, who happened to be, Kenny Rogers was his era, where Garth Brooks was for his era, as far as big time country artists who happened to have pop success, you know, and then you can go on to Neil McCoy, and then of course, let's not forget Hootie, known as Darius Rucker, who's been very established in Nashville, however, Still has a good old boy, and it's very selective what they want to do. They say, "Well, you can't be too pop in Nashville, and then you got to look like us." You know, this is a silly thing. But little Nas X, I am glad to see him come along, and other African Americans shatter and break the stereotype because our music is everything. I don't care if it's classical, obviously jazz. Everyone knows about hip hop, so R and B. Any forms of popular music, but it goes the full spectrum. But country music is our music. I mean, very much so. You can't tell me that if you don't listen to the blues, you don't pick up the country licks. John Lee Hooker, Highland Wolf, Blind Lemon Johnson. Come on now. Go back and listen to it. You know, Jimi Hendrix wanted to do, had to cut a straight country album. He could have knocked it off in his sleep. Okay. Richie Havens, if you want to go that route, if you want to go there, you know. So don't get like that. But I'm glad to see Lil Nas X um, having success with it. And it's unnecessary, but there's still so many barriers with music, with people putting labels, and when they look at your race and what you can't play and what you can do. So anyway, um, people need to get a history lesson, black folks created country music it just got turned over into a billy bob redneck honky tonk and somehow it got manipulated with 10 gallon hats and stetson's are not on us but if you really understand it it's very much us very much us you could take robert johnson's records which are considered blues but they were very much country because robert johnson in truth it's no different than what Hank Williams Sr. was doing. That's my take for free. Leave comments and subscribe when the bell rings. It's a new video and I'm out. Peace.